Anyway, uh, that's from Surge's. There was a traumatic. I remember somebody said something about there was a traumatic experience for Surge involving a panther. Correct. Um, Are you all right, Surge? You don't look so well. Uh huh. Be on your guard. There's something going on outside. Are they dealing with links? Oh no. Whoa, standing watch aren't easy. What do you mean? It's literally just standing. What's up with the fog today? Well, you know, it's trying to stay awake, you know. Making sure you're actually doing your due diligence on the job, because if you're not on watch, somebody might die. You mm. can't even see the water out there. In fact, you all might die. I ain't scared! <gasps> An actual ghost ship. Look at that. Wow. Who'd have thunk it? Ah! <laughs> Something is up. Why, yes, look at that. Hey, Skelly, your friends are here. The ghost ah! pirate. Right, crossbones. Crossbone. And a what? A deadbeat. Okay. Oh, they're skulls on tentacle legs? Yeah, they're like the epitome of darkness. Ew. Well, too bad for you guys. I'm a natural white element. You're a whitey. Good damage, good damage. Uh -huh. Boop. Uh -huh. Bop. Yep. Uh-huh. Ding a dig a doo wop. Nice. Okay. So I should be equipping a lot of white spells. Everything you fight from here on out through the fog of the night is going to be nice. white. What? Or it's going to be black, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Weak to white is what I meant to say. Weak to white. What are these monsters doing here? What's going on? Well, Lena. Record of fate, what do you have for me? There's skeletons everywhere. Gee, thanks. <laughs> All right. Save the game. <laughs> now that everyone is allocated. It's... A fun aspect of the game, but also probably the greatest weakness. Oh, I... How much time you have to spend every time you get a new party member to, like, allocate everything on them. Oh, no kidding. Ah, it looks like you're all right. I thought you were going when that monster went in. My Dragoon training is a lot harder than that. <laughs> Do tell me, what is happening here? What's going on here? Oh, sorry, but I don't know either, buddy. Before I knew that what was going on, guy, I was attacked. Go ahead, I won't stop you. Why would you stop them in the first place? I know. I'll save this guy, why not? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Wouldn't that make these enemies your friend? Shut up, it makes sense! <laughs> I don't know, killing the crossbones is good though, because I'm pretty sure that they're the ones who dropped the iron. They did drop iron. I saw it. I didn't think that. I don't think the deadbeats drop iron. Wow! Surge cannot instant kill it. That's a shame. That's oh, a level two spell. There we go. Oh, maybe they get bones. Maybe it was the deadbeats that were giving iron. Okay, what do you got? Yeah, I didn't ask you for help. Okay, fine. I'll leave you to die next time, you jackass. <laughs> yeah. You do kind of have to save all of them, though, because oh. uh, you're looking for the guy that's got the key, and it's going to be whoever the last person you save is. Of course it is. So you might as well just save them all now. Oh, they're jumping like Chinese uh, vampires. Meow. <laughs> Nice! Wow. Wow. Here we go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
I keep forgetting I can speed this up. Oh. There we go. Woo! Dun, dun, dun. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, let's do this. Nope, that's not the door. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, you, that's where you came from. Really? Yep. Oh, sure enough. Uh, it's, there's a guy in that one. And you talk to the guy. Uh, really? Really? Now you gotta talk to the guy because he's gonna go and fight it oh first. Oh my god, fine. How'd you guys get out? Get back in the hole! This sucker's mine! Now you can fight for him. Oh, of course I can. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Sir just <laughs> wanders around. Hey guys, how you it's doing? like, hey, there's a guy there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick up this treasure. Hope you don't mind. Boop. Come on, hit, hit. Is he going to throw his head? Oh, okay. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah. That hurts. Pretty big attack. So it's after... Maybe we haven't learned about this yet. So maybe I shouldn't say that. I could talk about the timeline of Chrono Trigger though. Uh, sure, go ahead. I don't feel like that's gonna spoil anything. No. So there are a couple of distinct things, distinct timelines that we're talking about because once Chrono and the gang inter interrupt stuff, mm -hmm. uh, like that's kind of when stuff gets a little wibbly-wobbly and some wibbly stuff wobbly, doesn't make a ton of sense. Yeah. Okay, so, keep going. Um, so there is the, there's basically two main timelines, right? There's a, a future and where like... The year 3000 where Lavos destroyed everything. Right. And then there's the f possible future where Lavos misses Earth entirely and the Reptites take over. Yes! <laughs> uh, which is what probably would have happened um, because, like, based on the cultures of the, like, Ayla's time or Isla's time right. in Chrono Trigger, like, where they're still, like, in huts and stuff and, the, like, the dinosaurs the, the are basically... The weird girl with the tail for some reason. Yeah, the apes is what they're called or yes. what they're referred to. So the apes are still in huts, but the reptiles have all like got like castles. They have a machine. And they have a tank. <laughs> machines and stuff. So like, had Lavos not landed on the reptile lair, then it's plausible to think that the reptites would have become the dominant species on Earth instead of the apes. I do remember there was an ending of uh, Chrono Trigger where they do. Yeah, and some people think that. Uh, the Dragonians are the like descendants of the Reptite future, basically. Oh. So that's a little bit of lore for that side. There's not a whole ton known about that plotline because that's not what happens in Chrono Trigger. Okay. But those are the two possible things, okay. right? And then in the, the Chrono timeline, before Chrono and his friends intervene, like if they don't ever do anything, then uh, like the Reptites are taken out, the Kingdom of Zeal happens. Uh, the Kingdom of Guardia happens. Um, Pore, I think it's Pore, mm -hmm. like invades Guardia, right? And um, like in the future, because nobody did anything to stop Lavos, the Day of Lavos happens, and like humanity is desolate, and that's like that futuristic time in Chrono Trigger. The year Trigger. 3000. Yeah. And so. Like, Where Robo comes from. Yeah. Um, there are some events in there, and I'm badly paraphrasing now, but at least I'm paraphrasing correctly <laughs> the time frame. Uh, in the Kingdom of Zeal timeline, there are three like prophets, basically, or wise men that get sent to different spaces in the time context. Um, one of, like, Balthazar, Melchior, and um, some other guy. I don't remember what his name is, but uh, people think that Belsazar got sent to here, I think, and maybe it's confirmed later on in Chrono Cross, mm -hmm. but uh, and Melchior got sent to Medina Village in some other time, and that's why he's able to like make all kinds of cool stuff. Okay. So, 
Who was Melchior in Trigger? Uh, he was the guy that crafted the Massa Moon. Oh, okay. Um, and he was like the legendary swordsmith or whatever, the weaponsmith in uh, Chrono Trigger. And the reason why he was so good at making stuff is because he was like a scientist from the Magical Kingdom days. Uh-huh. So. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and that was the other thing. Um, a piece of Lavos in Chrono Trigger like breaks off or spawns or it's a baby Lavos. Uh, and that is the Frozen Flame, and that's even talked about in Chrono Trigger. Mm -hmm. um, and so, like, that functions a machine of some kind in Chrono Trigger that basically gives the Kingdom of Zeal its power, which is the magical city. Yes, I remember that. Um, there is a pendant that they needed in order to turn on the machine which is that possessed by of... Marl, right? Yeah, Marl owns the pendant, and I guess the canon reason for that is because after the Zeal event, like, once the Kingdom of Zeal is destroyed, people, like, pick up, like, random artifacts of Zeal, the Frozen Flame being one of them, and that pendant belonging to Shala, which is, like, Queen Zeal's daughter, uh, and like basically create it as a, or use it as a family heirloom, like a royal heirloom. Mm -hmm. And that's why Marl has the pendant, which is actually a dreamstone pendant, which is what caused the time distortion in the year, I think it's 1000 Guardia, in uh, Truce Village, or whatever, at the Millennium Fair. Okay. With so. Luca's teleporter. Correct, yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Look, man. All I, all I remember about Chrono Trigger is Chrono dies, gets the time egg, and Robo is the best healer for some reason. Oh, that's the other thing. <laughs> that's the main key, is if Chrono and the gang don't stop the robots from wiping out humanity uh -huh. in the future years, then humans will become extinct in the future. What? Well, because they're dying of starvation, and uh -huh. the robots were already replicating themselves to take over the world anyway. Oh, wow. So that is the eventual future. Without... So Robo's the villain. <laughs> he would have been, yes. Wow. Or people like him would have been, but yeah. But instead, because Chrono and people like intervene, they uh, don't have that future. Nice. So. Okay. The whole Chrono Trigger, Chrono Cross series is kind of about like time travel and aliens. Uh, yes, I can. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out, wait, when does Chrono Cross take place then? Chrono Cross takes place in the year, I believe it's the year 1003. I can look it up really quick. <laughs> 1003. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Oh, Surge is born in the year 1003. Okay. The events of Chrono Cross, or like the inciting incident, I guess, uh, is the year 1010 AD, which is before the robot future in Chrono Trigger. Oh my god, what? Is he. Uh -huh. Wait, year 10,000? Am I wrong? I thought it was 3,000 or whatever. Uh, the year 2300 AD is when... Oh, 2300. Oh, I don't remember very well. <laughs> yeah. It's all kinds of cool stuff. I'm beginning to suspect the timeline does not actually make all that much sense under scrutiny. I don't know, it does actually. Oh, really? Like, being able to read the timeline and having played this game and having played Chrono Trigger, like being able to see the timelines next to each other, it makes tons of sense. Okay. And Chrono Cross does explain it when you get to a game point, like what the hell is going on at that okay. time. It's just for game reasons, the powers that be don't want Surge to know anything about it because there are things actively trying to stop Surge from what he's doing. Well, clearly, because he's the Chrono Trigger, apparently. He's the assassin of time. He's the assassin of time. I'm going to... 
He's searching for the gun to kill the past. <laughs> Man, where's the outcry sur surge unlockable character for Enter the Gungeon? Time Assassin. Oh, that'd be cool. There is a crossover mobile game where Surge is in it. Oh, I? By Surge Square Enix, I bet. I don't know if it's by Square Enix, but it's called Another Eden. Obviously, we're not sponsored by them. So. No. Not even in the slightest. Another Eden, the cat beyond time and space. Oh, more iron. It is not by Square Enix. Okay. But the music was composed by Yasunori Mitsuda. Who also did? Xenogears and all of these. Hey! I like the sound of that. Yeah, I played it a little bit. It was interesting. What, Xenogears? No, oh, no another, yeah, Eden. another Eden. It's one of those gotcha games, so it's a little hard uh, to get through. Oh, the, all the rage on mobile phones. Yeah. I think that's the thing I hate oh the my. most about phone games, is that, like, they have the potential to be awesome, because then you can play a game anytime you want. It's, like, the best of both worlds of having a Game Boy Advance and, like, also having cloud save options. Mm hmm But all of the games for the phone kind of suck. How are your battles going? Oh, they're great. I'm barely staying awake. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. It's a cool dungeon, but like, when you're just Fight. trying to get to the next story beat, it's uh. uh by the powers, how did you guys get out? Ah, oh, forget it. We have more serious matters to worry about. The ship is flooding. Can I walk past you? Huh? Now what? You can't get through here. Monsters are all over the deck. What? A key? I make these. Who's on key duty? Oh, I am. Oh, who? Which one? That guy. You want the key for the door downstairs, eh? Here you go. Yeah. So had you not gone through that gauntlet of fights, he wouldn't have the key, and he would say that one of them has it. Oh my God. <laughs> Another way to get on deck is by going through the arsenal downstairs and make your way from the outside. Okay. You have to go all the way back down to where you started. Uh, of course. <laughs> So this is why we talked about the timeline of Chrono Trigger. Uh, Briefly. Uh, a brief explanation and leaving a lot of stuff out. But... Uh, now... Okay. So... Okay. When Surge is born... When? The year 1003 AD. Okay. Three years after the events that... Or three years after Chrono steps into the time gate thing. Go down. What? There we go. Jeez. Source ladders, am I right? Yeah. Anyway, wait, so, hang on. So this takes place immediately after Chrono Trigger? Yes, because you have to remember that the events of Chrono Trigger all happen in the year 1000 AD. Well, they're spread out all throughout time. Right, but it's time happening concurrently. Oh. Every time they transfer back to the year 1000, it's still the year 1000. Well, yes, that's time travel, but... Right. So Surge's events now are happening in conjunction with those things, briefly after the defeat of Lava. Is, is there a canonical time that they dis killed Lavos, defeated Lavos, whatever? Yes. Okay, did they do it in 1000? Uh, I'll check. I think it was in 1000, but I could be wrong. Okay. But you also have... Oh, jeez! You've got it on warp speed, and that's a fast moving monster. <laughs> oh, thankfully these guys drop iron, or the last ones did. Yeah, I think that's also a part of the reason why you fight so many things here, is because they want you. To they want you to iron get before you go. Stacked up on on gear. I sure enough, two iron. Okay. Okay. All right, what do you have to say? In the name of Davy Jones, I can't believe you made it here. So in this not Earth Earth, they have a Davy Jones. Okay. <laughs> That's quite impressive, Macy's. Yep. Would you like some of my homemade vitamin drink? Sure. No. What? Oh, you shouldn't drink that. Why? It 
it either heals you or poisons you. Oh, fantastic. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> it, more often than not, it will poison you. Great. <laughs> oh, not items. I'm glad that you got tricked by that, though. That was funny. <laughs> He's innately green! How can he be poisoned? Okay, full health. I think that Lavos, according to this Ooh. wiki, Lavos is killed in the year 1999. 1990. Like, at the day of Lavos. 1990X. Yeah. Okay, so wait. As far as the as far as, as far the, as the timeline is concerned, so technically Chrono Lavos Trigger, is still alive so, right now. Not Chrono Trigger. Chrono and, and Gang have to time travel. And part of like them doing all their warpy warpy bits, like could be causing the stuff that's happening right now. So there's a split timeline then, because there has to be. Yes. Well, kind of. This timeline diverges after the events of Chrono trigger resolve. Yes. When an event which is Surge but all of which is Surge drowning or Surge not drowning when he is, I believe, free. Okay. From Panther Man. Or no, not from Panther Man. Panther Man. Pan the Panther Demon poisons Surge. Okay. And they have to go find a way Wait, to cure Surge. Wait, it poisons Surge. him instead of mauling him? Yes, because it's a demon. Okay, That's it's a demon. Uh, and then Surge mysteriously drowns, like, when he's 10 or something, or 7 or something like that. I don't know. 7. Yeah. Age, se age 17, 10 years ago. He's attacked by a Panther Demon when he's 3. Yes. What? Huh? Okay. Then how does he remember that? He doesn't. People are telling him about it. Oh, okay. I mean, he probably could remember the uh, remembering stuff. The trauma? Yeah. That's mm -hmm. why the like FMVs are all like hazy and like weird. Mm -hmm. Dreamscapey. Because I can tell you, the earliest memory I have is from... You need to go four. down this ladder to the left. Uh, oh, okay. And then you go right? You can bypass these monsters by walking around them. Well, they drop iron. How much iron do you have? You only need like nine. Uh, uh true enough. <laughs> there, e there is just, oh my god. More questions? Oh, uh, okay. By all, I, okay. But so, okay, in order to fulfill the timeline, Chrono and Gang have to time travel. Correct. Which means they did alter the past, which means we're in a new timeline entirely. Yes. From the one that actually... From the original timeline that would have happened where humans take over the world and the robots kill them after the Day of Lavos. Okay. That is the summary of that timeline. Okay. Without Chrono. Okay. With Chrono, which is this timeline. Yes. Lavos is defeated. Okay. Even though he's not technically defeated yet. But, okay, no, wait, hang on. This, this is, no, this is the problem with time travel things, okay? Okay, no, They no, killed no, okay. him in the future. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hold, hold on! Of this timeline. Josh, ho okay, hold on to your chair, okay? I want you to hold on, okay? Just grab, grab the armchair rest, okay? Mm hmm Okay. What I'm saying is, the... No, you're wrong. Okay. <laughs> all of time from the creation of the planet to Chrono being born, and then the events of the festival happen. Mm -hmm. So there's a version of time in which time travel doesn't occur, because that's how you get to the robot future. Uh huh. Yet there's simultaneously a timeline where they do their time travel shenanigans, because that's the only way for Lavos to actually be fought and defeated. Correct. And then there's another separate timeline from those two. Oh my god! In which Lavos misses Earth entirely, and the Reptites take over. Little is known about that timeline because it's not actually depicted in, in the game. But because there are already two divergent timelines of the Chrono Wait, series... Wait, I thought you said the Dragonians in this game are, are the Reptites. Uh-huh. You'll learn more about that later. But I'm going to confuse you now. Okay, so we're on fourth timeline. This, yes, is technically one of four possible timelines. 
No, they're, oh my god, okay. But this could also be considered a continuation of the Chrono timeline. Okay. So. Which is, which one? The one in which Chrono and the gang kill Lavos. And so the one where the time traveling stuff does happen? Correct. Okay, because it has to. And also Chrono and Marlo are dead somehow. What? I, I don't know. <laughs> That's just. Wait, wait. That's okay. just what the wiki says. Hold on, what? I don't know where the evidence is for that. How do they approach it? Where is the evidence for that? It could be in Radical Dreamers. I'm not sure. But apparently, Chrono and Marl get married and die four years after getting married. <laughs> <laughs> I, I well, don't know why right or how, but that's what happens. Uh, I... So, wait, is that the timeline where they revived him with the Chrono Egg? Yes. That is like all possible side quests being done, good ending Chrono Cross. Okay. Or Chrono Trigger timeline. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> Oh my god. So not the timeline... Okay, does him dying by Lavos Beam, does that create an alternate future? No. Uh, okay. I mean, technically, yes, because you can get an alternate ending. Well, okay, yes, I guess. I, I'm talking about canon here. Um, like, game complete canon? Yes. No, it does not create an alternate canon. Okay, I'm, I'm just... Because he, he dies, and they bring him back with the Chrono Egg. And I if I remember correctly, the whole reason they had to use the Chrono Egg is because they said something... Time some, Egg, but whatever. Time Egg, whatever. Uh, <laughs> they said some nonsense about how we can't alter the time scale or whatever, or something? Yeah, you can't change the effects of time or something like that. Oh, uh, what? But they're... Ch th the reason why there's four timelines is because we're changing time! Correct. There's also, I think, in the original, like the, you completed the game, good ending, happy stuff, I think there's a scene in there where Luca finds a child in the forest. How many chronos are, are existing? If you want to get really technical, there's an infinite amount of chronos going well, through the Well, yes, time. of course, there should be. <laughs> Technically, there's one for every second of the day. Yes. Every day in time. Yes. That's the way time travel works. Okay. Oh boy. So why can't? Okay. Okay. Hang on. If they. Oh, this... Okay. Wait. Hey. Wait. That's the guy. That's the the yeah. thing from the. He said the he wanted to man. travel the sea. Yes. Okay. Get back here. I know you're a party member, Demas. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> why do you keep appointing me? Can't you see I'm hiding? Hmm. You want to know why I'm here? I'm a stowaway. I wanted desperately to see the sea. When I woke up, there were monsters all over the place. It really scared me. Anyway, I wanted to see the world because all my life I've been walked in a web. Can you broaden my view of the world? Sure, come along. Cool. Thank you very much. So Pip is an experimental created being. Uh, I think there are, are three versions of him that you can, like, evolve, basically. And he's the only character that does that. 